Many Americans struggle to find jobs, both when economic conditions are good and during periods of economic downturn. And even people who work steadily often have trouble making ends meet. Building evidence on employment strategies for low-income families, or BEES, is a national study of innovative programs working to boost employment and earnings among individuals with low incomes. BEES is a collaboration between federal agencies, researchers, and local programs that provide employment services. Programs in BEES will contribute to a national effort to improve our understanding of how to help individuals with low incomes find employment. There have been many studies of employment programs and models. Bees will use several research designs to build on what these studies have shown help people find jobs and increase their earnings. Whenever possible, bees will use a kind of evaluation called a random assignment study, also known as a randomized controlled trial. A random assignment study measures how a program affects outcomes for participants. It's a test to compare what happens to people with and without the program. It uses a lottery system to randomly assign people in the study into one of two groups either a program group, which receives the services being studied, or a comparison group, which does not receive those services but can access other services in the community. To understand the effect of being in the program, the study compares results for the two groups over time. Let's use an example to see how random assignment works. A local program provides job skills training to help unemployed people get jobs with good wages. The program already has eligibility criteria in place that do not change because of the study. They only have 10 openings in the program, but 20 people are interested and eligible. These people will be invited to participate in the study and take part in a lottery that gives them an equal chance of getting a slot in the program. Choosing participants at random is an even-handed way of assigning the limited number of seats in a program. The lottery works like a coin toss. In this example, a computer assigns 10 people at random to the program group. Some of these people find good paying jobs, while others don't do as well. However, most of the people in this group find good paying jobs. 10 other people are randomly assigned to the comparison group. They can't get the program services that are being tested, although they can still seek out any other services that are available in the community. Like the people in the program group, their results vary and some people find jobs with good wages. The different results of these groups are what researchers call the impact of the program. In this example, it shows that the program increased people's likelihood of getting a good paying job. How do we know that the program caused the impact rather than differences between people in the two groups? For example, what if the people in one group had more employment history or fewer barriers in their lives? Because the people in each group are picked at random, the groups will be pretty similar when they enter the study. That way, if they have different outcomes over time, we can feel confident that the outcomes are caused by the services being studied, rather than differences between the two groups. Random assignment studies also help make clear the extent to which a program helps people achieve their goals. Programs have firsthand knowledge of their clients' success stories. A random assignment study offers the staff a window into what happens to individuals in the program, compared with those who are not. Will these individuals do better, or worse, or pretty much the same? The results might be surprising. A random assignment study will show how much of a difference the program makes, above what the comparison group members can achieve outside of the program. A random assignment study can sometimes show whether the program is particularly effective for certain segments of the population. For example, we could look specifically at everyone in the program group and the comparison group who is under the age of 30. How much of a difference does the program make for this population? Knowing whether and how much a program impacts the outcomes of its participants can be really powerful information. When feasible, a random assignment study can offer reliable and convincing proof of what works to help people improve their outcomes. It's also the kind of evidence that policymakers and funders often look for. To learn more about random assignment studies and the BEES evaluation, visit MDRC's website.